Welcome to tonight's Advent story time. First, let's light the Advent wreath. I lit two candles for the first week of Advent. Tonight, I'm going to read two stories, In Love with God and Angels Everywhere. The angel said, Joseph, son of David, don't be afraid to take Mary home as your wife. The baby inside her is from the Holy Spirit. She is going to have a son. You must give him the name Jesus. That's because he will save his people from their sins. Joseph, the carpenter, was troubled. He sanded down the last piece of cedar wood and ran his hand over the surface. It was not as smooth as it should be. The table he was making for his neighbor had to be perfect. He would have to work on it tomorrow. The evening light was fading. Joseph put his saw and hammer away and sighed as he wiped his hands with a cloth. The table he was making wasn't the only thing troubling him. Joseph had heard a rumor about Mary, the girl he loved, the one he was soon supposed to marry. Apparently, she was supposed to have a baby and Joseph wasn't the father. That could only mean one thing. Mary must be in love with someone else. Joseph's heart was heavy as he climbed into bed and lay down to sleep. He still loved Mary, but could he marry her now? Joseph closed his eyes and drifted off to sleep, but in the middle of the night, he thought he heard someone softly calling his name. Joseph, Joseph. Was that an angel hovering by his bed? Joseph, the angel whispered, you must marry Mary. The child inside her is God's son. You must give him the name Jesus. Will you help take care of him? In the morning, Joseph woke from his sleep and he knew what he had to do. He would marry Mary. He would be the dad of God's son. He would take care of him and would teach him how to be a carpenter too. Joseph went out to his shed, re-sanded the table from the day before, and smiled as he ran his hands over its smooth surface. One day, his son would be working in here with him. Joseph felt so happy. Now he knew Mary wasn't in love with another man. She was in love with God. And that was fine, because Joseph was in love with God too. Angels everywhere. Praise him, all his angels. Praise him, all his angels in heaven. Psalm 148, 2. All through the story of Jesus' birth, from before his arrival until after he was born, we see glimpses of angels. These messengers of God winged their way down from heaven to bring words of encouragement and hope. But how do you think you might feel if you saw an angel? The Bible tells us that Zechariah, Mary, and Joseph were all scared. But to each person, the angel said the same wonderful words. Do not be afraid, Zechariah. Do not be afraid, Mary. Do not be afraid, Joseph. And after the angels had said these encouraging words, listen to the good news they brought. Zechariah, your prayer has been heard. Your wife, Elizabeth, will have a child. Mary, God is very pleased with you. Joseph, the baby inside Mary is from the Holy Spirit. What wonderful words the angels brought. To Mary, in her little home. To Zechariah, in the quietness of the temple. To Joseph, in his warm bed. The angels came and whispered hope into human hearts. The angels brought God's news and that is always good news. Please pray with me. Dear God, thank you for all the angels in the Christmas story and for the good news they brought. Amen.